really like my costume, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I made it myself. Are not one of my strong points. Shocker, I know. Um, I'm a little bit of a narcissist, uh, but I'm also pretty entertaining. So if you don't give me any mirrors, we're gonna have a great time tonight. So that's gonna be good. <laughs> well, let's get started. So I'm hanging out at my buddy Justin's place. He lives with my friend Jake. They're both in the front row. Jake's the one with the snazzy tie. It's good looking. Uh, and uh, Jake is, uh, he's kind of starting to bother Justin a little bit. His, his stuff is kind of moving over into Justin's area. And Justin, who's Jewish, uh, he's, he's, he's complaining to me about like everything. And uh, one of the things he's complaining to me about... <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody, but he's, he's a big complainer. One of the things that he complained to me about recently was that of, of, of Jake, of this stuff. And uh, he said, man, I wish my roommate was Palestinian so I could just take over. <laughs> yeah, you don't get that joke, pick up a newspaper. <laughs> So I am really excited about tonight. I've written a lot of new material. This is not a Russell Peters show at all. This is all brand new stuff. Hey, Russell Peters. No, nobody? Everybody likes Russell Peters here? Okay, tough crowd. <laughs> I hate Russell Peters. Um, not enough to really like have a vendetta against the guy, but he's on my list. My list comprises of three people. Russell Peters, Jason Spezza, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I know you're thinking, Hitler wasn't that bad, I know. But I put him on the list anyway, I put him on it. He's, he, he did some bad stuff. Has anyone besides me noticed that, uh, that the women who are pro-choice have already made their choice? Anybody? And their choice is to get that thing out of me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed to have lost most of you on the sound effect there. <laughs> that perspective. Um, we were all one away from not being here tonight, so think about that. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, that joke actually doesn't have a finish to it, but maybe next show I'll have it finished. And you're all thinking, I'm not coming to pay this, I'm not paying this to see this guy again. I have class with him. He never shuts up. I hate this guy. Uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody loves me. That's 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 cool. That's cool. But uh, on the topic of, of choice, um, have, have, has anyone noticed that there's? Uh, I can't see anybody. I'm gonna take these off. <laughs> I was mainly for like the dramatic effect when I walked in. If you all saw that, you caught that. Okay, good. Um, so for the on topic of, of choice, there is this Cialis pill. So Cialis. Different than Viagra, you take it all the time. It's essentially the pill, but for that instead of that. And uh, you're not allowed to consume alcohol when you're on this, this, this pill. And they said that at the end of the commercial after saying about all the good stuff where, you know, be ready when you are. Be ready when the moment is right. This is good stuff here. Uh, but then, of course, a side effect comes in. It's like, warning, do not consume alcohol. You're like, whoa, hold the phones. I don't know if I can make that choice. I think I'm going to need another pill just to make the choice of the first pill. Clear choice. <laughs> so, uh, being a white comedian is, uh, it's a little tougher than, uh, being, uh... What, sorry, what, 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 where, where are you from again? I am going to play the race card. You... <laughs> Indian, okay, and the, and the black guy, that's cool. He's a good guy. Um, I have nothing funny about me. There's, there's nothing funny about, like, an okay-looking, skinny, straight, white guy. Nothing. So, uh, I've got to kind of go and attach myself to other cultures, or else I'd kind of be up here for, like, 45 minutes, talking about, like, mayonnaise and peach juice. <laughs> the last one that I went to, um, I, uh, I kind of noticed that they were, the, the numbers were down in the church. No one's really going to church anymore. Um, they're actually accepting different walks and different faiths. They've gone so far as to offer different selections for the wine or the blood of Christ, if anyone knows. <laughs> thinking, whoa, whoa. Uh, that got me thinking, though, because I walked right up there and I said, hey, could I have my Jesus on the rocks with a twist, please? <laughs> the priest did not laugh at all. <laughs> But I got my wine, so that was good. Uh, don't worry, I hit up the confession on the way out, so I'm not going to hell or anything. Good stuff. Uh, came with the added benefit of telling the priest again, and he still didn't like it. He still didn't laugh. But the last one that I went to, um, I uh, I kind of noticed that they were that the, the numbers were down in the church. No one's really going to church anymore. Um, 
they're actually accepting different walks and different faiths. They've gone so far as to offer different selections for the wine or the blood of Christ, if anyone knows. Thinking, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, that got me thinking, though, because I walked right up there and I said, hey, could I have my Jesus on the rocks with a twist, please? <laughs> the priest did not laugh at all. <laughs> my wine, so that was good. Uh, don't worry, I hit up the confession on the way out, so I'm not going to hell or anything. Good stuff. Uh, came with the added benefit of telling the priest again, and he still didn't like me. He still didn't laugh. <laughs> but yeah, people always ask, how do I come up with, with, with this stuff? And I tell them straight up. I say, uh, it actually comes to me when I am about to sleep. Um, as any good narcissist does, I dream about myself. <laughs> and I... I'm also a realist, so I dream about myself doing real things. So basically every night I go to sleep dreaming about myself in front of a big crowd of people telling jokes. And when Dream Ian uh, says a joke, I have to wake up and write it down. Or I have to wake up and put it in my phone. Or if I don't have a pen and paper or I don't have a phone, I say fuck it, don't remember, and I go back to sleep. <laughs> uh, but hey, it's great living here in Ottawa. It is the only city in the world that I know of where rush hour starts at 2 o'clock. <laughs> and that is due mostly to the federal government. The federal government, great guys, great guys. They employ over half of Ottawa. Check the stats. The federal government, with all the great stuff that it does, or that it claims to do, I don't exactly know what it does. But <laughs> whatever it is, they certainly aren't doing it past 2.30 on a weekday. <laughs> A few weeks ago, there was a run, uh, a run for, for the cure, which I actually volunteered and uh, ran, um, and I almost died. Five <laughs> k. I did not think I was that out of shape since high school, uh, but apparently yes. <laughs> but I don't even think these guys are trying anymore because it used to be the run for the cure. Now it's like the run to spread awareness. Is anyone really not aware of cancer anymore? Really? Two guys walking past the run for the cure saying like, hey. Cure for what? Other guy says, I don't know, gingivitis? <laughs> not gonna happen, not gonna happen. No run for uh, gingivitis. <laughs> but, uh, so we are wrapping up Movember, or November or Movember, whatever you want to call it. I did, did, have a great dirty porn star mustache. <laughs> up until a week ago. Brandon remembers. It, it, was, it, it, it was real, it was good. But it's obviously, you see, like, where is he keeping it? Is it in his pocket? No, it's shaved uh, because I went to the marketing ball last week with uh, a bunch of good looking individuals sitting in that area right there, including Greg right there. <laughs> and uh, I experienced what all girls know to be the case and what I'm going to share with the guys in the crowd tonight. Um, girls like taking pictures of the same thing with each of their cameras of the same picture, so that they can each have a little photo, it's very cute. Um, <laughs> seriously though, it all goes up on Facebook, so save yourself a lot of time, just tag your friend, it's easier. I mean, guys, we think productively. Uh, I got... <laughs> more claps from the girls there, right? Oh, it's haters, it's self-haters, that's good. So, anyway, I am uh, mo-free, mo I guess, you could, you could call it that, mo-free. Um, but when November started and I was into it, I was seeing like a lot of like camaraderie about all the guys saying like, hey, you know, like, nice mustache, nice mustache. And I'm saying, hey man, your mustache is really good too. I'm like, yo, like, let's, let's hug it out and be friends, that's good. I have a mustache, I have a mustache, everybody has a mustache, it's great. Um, I heard about this and I was like, I want to take part in this. But unfortunately, after I heard it, the next person I saw was a girl who had a mustache. So I was like, hey, Movember, what up? <laughs> she got all upset. I don't know why. <laughs> so I was uh, kind of on, the, on like, like the heated debate of whether or not, like which one was worse, not being able to grow a full mustache or putting mascara on the mustache that you can grow to make it seem fuller. Jim, <coughs> Daryl, <coughs> Grant, what? <coughs> right there, him. <laughs> Yeah, he's checking for uh, mascara then. Well, 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 that's just a wipe on. That's just a wipe off. But uh, one of my friends, Chris, um, he, I was having dinner with him a couple weeks weeks back, and uh, we're sitting in the uh, Royal Oak or whatever. And I'm saying it's like November 10th, 
So I was like, hey man, like where, where, where's your mustache? Like you're aware that you know we're all being com comrades and growing our mustaches. It's really cool. It's for something who knows. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so we're all growing this, and like where is yours? Like what the hell? And he says, oh, I'm growing. Like, is it in your purse? Like. <laughs> He said he's been growing it for two months to get prepared, and I had to pull up my magnifying glass because I don't see where the fuck this thing was. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he cannot grow facial hair at all. At all. Uh, but he still insists on having the latest and greatest in cutting razor blade technology, when in reality, all he has to do is walk directly into the wind. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> Problem solved. That's all. That's all that Doug Chris really, really needs for his problem. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, uh, like, I guess, like right before uh, November, there was a blood drive, and with a blood drive comes the blood givers of people, which are great people. Great people. Like seriously, give a round of applause for helping people. With <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, but the only problem that I have with them is that they try to make you to one of these people. Like, they're trying to make you like, super excited. Hey, I'm gonna go get blood. This is perfect. Uh, so, they say, hey man, like, I feel really great after I give blood. I feel really great after I don't give blood. <laughs> I feel so alive and vibrant. And, uh, it's fantastic. Like, thank you, but I can buy my own cookies. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> blood, it's in you to live.